Randall asks, if I'm planning to use video in a drop zone, should I convert to a compound clip before selecting it for the drop zone? And there's two answers, yes and no. If you are using a clip in a drop zone and you want the image to start at the very beginning of the clip, you do not need to use a compound clip. If, on the other hand, you want to have a clip start in the middle, you must put it in a compound clip first. Let me show you how this works. I've created in motion a drop zone, and I just drop that generator down, which has a perspective to it. So this is just something that I've created, and I want to put a video into it. If we play this clip, notice that he's looking down, then a few seconds in, he takes a drink. Anytime this week. Great. Okay, good. So if I grab this clip, I've got this drop zone here. I'm going to grab the clip from the browser, not from the timeline, from the browser, and drop it in. And now when I play it back, notice that it starts at the very beginning of the clip. If I grab the clip in the timeline, it still starts from the very beginning of the clip. But I want this to start not at the beginning of the clip, but just as he starts to put his glass down, right about there. So what I've done is I've created a compound clip by selecting the clip, going up to File, New, Compound Clip, or typing the keyboard shortcut, Option G. And notice at the very beginning of the compound clip, the glass is just moving away from his mouth. With that, that's the compound clip. So let's go back to our, our um, generator with the drop zone. And this time, click the X to clear it out, grab the compound clip and drag it in, and it honors the in of the compound clip. So if I want to put video into a drop zone, it always starts at the beginning of the video, regardless of where the in or the out is set, always the beginning. If you need it to start in the middle of a clip, create a drop, create a compound clip first, trim that compound clip so the start of the compound clip is where you want that video to start. And now, look at that, the glass leaves his mouth and he gives us a threatening look in this incredible generator that I've created. Whew. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 376. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.